girl grace and i am back with another video if you're new thank you for stopping by and if you're not welcome back so as you can see by the title and as we hopping into it y'all already see we're gonna get into some of this hair okay 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 i'm back with another hair video for y'all but this time is different it's something real different something new normally i go learn it and then i come show y'all but we're gonna do this one two in one we learning it and doing it y'all gonna see me like this is real life something new i have never did this style before but we're gonna be doing a quick weave on myself i've always done like the ponytails where i use the glue in the same method basically but i've never really done a quick weave on myself i've done the bangs where i had to put the the glue the track i've done it all but not the quick weave so it's time to learn it's time to learn and I need my hair done for this weekend. I have family pictures soon, and it's Valentine's coming soon. So I was like, I just want a little quick style that I can do myself. So we're going to try. We're going to try this thing out. I have had a sew-in before, so I kind of know how to manage my leave-out a little bit because, you know, my hair is still natural. But, yeah. So we're going to be trying this quick weave method, all the little tips and tricks I see on you know, TikTok. I'm going to incorporate, and y'all just going to see me try this. So I got the hair already laid out it's been washed and it's been drying but i'm gonna blow dry it real quick so it's just already puffy and we'll straighten it once it's on my head but i'm gonna blow dry it while it's off um and then i washed my hair i took out my braids washed my hair and it looks so much better i'm gonna put a clip in of me showing y'all what my hair looked like when i took it fresh out the braids it looks so much healthier y'all like i really think that cut did it for me like it's really getting healthy and i got a clip of me blow drying it just so y'all can see the little behind the scenes and whatnot but yeah, that's what we've been doing. So now we're here with this little, this little ponytail. And we're going to try to do this. I was debating like side part, middle part, side part, middle part, side part. But I think I'm going to do a middle part. I just like it's easier. And I don't know. I just want to do a middle part. It's going to have my forehead on swole. But forehead going to be on swole. Or like anyway, so it's not going to matter. So we might as well just do that middle part. Um, so yeah, we're going to get into this. I'm going to show y'all the supplies that I got. Uh, hopefully I have everything. But I'm going to just show y'all. And then we're going to get into the actual braid down first. So we got the braid down, then we have the little cap method or whatever. I don't know, y'all. We just, look, I'm gonna be watching a YouTube video while I'm doing this, okay? But the cap method and then the bundles actually gluing the tracks to my head. So we're gonna get into it, but I hope y'all enjoyed this video. So stay tuned. We're gonna learn together, besties, okay? So this is all I really got. So I got the cap for you know to protect my hair or whatever to put it on. I don't know what this is supposed to do. You know the cap, okay? The cap. Y'all know what I'm talking about. This is what's actually supposed to protect my hair, apparently. And I used this before. I tried to use this um under my wigs to protect my edges. And it was an epic fail. But, you know, I know how to use it now. But, yeah, I got this. And I have another bottle because I know this one little. But, yeah, this is what's actually supposed to, like, protect the hair. Like, separate the cap and the glue or whatever. Who knows? But, yeah, this is the glue that I'm going to use. I use this on my eyelashes. I use this on my ponytails. Like, okay, don't judge me. Y'all know this glue. It, you know if you know, okay? It, it, it do what it needs to do. So, this is, like, the only stuff I really have. But I got some makeup to outline it when I do it so that, like, I don't, you know, glue it on my actual hair and whatnot so I can see the part and whatnot. So, that's really it, though. But I do want to try the whole mousse method on my leave out so I have some mousse um because i've been seeing that where people put the mousse on it and blow dry it so that it you don't have to use as much heat so of course we won't try that because we don't want no heat damage i'm trying to keep my hair as healthy as possible but that's pretty much it so we're gonna get into this braid down let me go watch a video and get a picture so i can see what i need to really do and then i'm gonna just copy that because it ain't nothing but some braids so yeah we're gonna get into this okay so yeah i got the base or i watched the video on the base so we're gonna try to get this Rating pattern on film. I'm gonna have to keep like checking a video. I already know. Uh, but I decided on the middle part, yes. I think I'm doing middle part. Oh. So. This is gonna be a little, a little challenging for more. Let's see. And I got this mirror right in front of me, so this is the perfect setup. I don't want a whole bunch of leave out, but it's like, it's hard not to. It's really hard. Because then you feel like you're not going to have enough hair. And that's what I don't want. I don't want you to be able to see the tracks. Please, no, thank you. Okay. 
you're gonna make this the middle section. So, oh. Yeah, my hair is sticking up. I feel like it'll cover them tracks, right? Let's hope. <laughs> yeah, and that's our even section. So this is gonna cover this side track, this side track. And then I'm gonna have to take something back from here, I'm assuming. I'm gonna make sure that that's long enough. So I pretty much have the leave out foundation here and I end up blow drying the bundles in the back. Right now I'm about to just start braiding the part that is not going to be out. So the part that's going to be under the cap. Um, and I saw on the videos I watched, they was on like big braids as long as it was like flat and tight. So I'm just going to do some chunky little braids and make them flat. But I'm not going to show y'all me braiding my whole head down like because if you watch this video, if you clicked on a quick wig video, I know you're not looking for no how to cornrow your hair. Like, come on. You got to know how to braid already. Come on. So, I'm not going to show y'all this whole process. But I'm going to just do some chunky braids. And then you know how you do with the wig and you connect them at the end. That's literally what I'm going to do. Uh, when I connect them at the end, you know, tuck it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm going to show y'all what I'm doing. But yeah, I'm going to do some braids like this. Like on flat. And then, yeah. Y'all gonna see me when I got a full, you know, jailhouse braid look. And we're gonna be getting into the quick weaving. Y'all, so I finished kind of the braid down. I don't know what it's looking like back there, and we're not gonna talk about it because it don't even matter. But yeah, so I pretty much got the leave out now, and I'm gonna get into the cap process. And so, blow dry my hair, blow dry the tracks, and doing the whole braid down taking me one hour, only one hour. Like that's not bad at all. So I'm gonna give me a little snack for this next part. But yeah, when I come back, we are going to just put that cap on put the protectant and like honestly the, it's really flat like y'all see that it's really flat so i feel like i don't know but like i might i might eat this i don't know well, i'm getting too excited but yeah we're gonna put the cap on and start with that process before we get to the track so i'm gonna have to make sure i watch a video um on how to really use this stuff is to apply and remove helps remove and minimize hair loss minimize hair loss that's what we're talking about okay Protect the barrier between hair and glue. I've seen the people put those little wraps that I put on my ponytail and then put the cap on. I feel like that's low-key doing too much. I feel like that's going to make it big and bulky. And I don't want that look. But I also feel like putting this on top of hair is crazy. We're going to do it and we're going to learn. We're going to learn. Y'all with me. Y'all with me. We're learning together. We're going to see. Y'all, so I got the little cap. I hope it's a little see-through. Okay, good. It's supposed to be a little see-through. Um, Yeah. So, we're going to put this thingy on. And so I told y'all I got a little bit of makeup. Oh, it's not that. Oh, yes, it is. It's a through. I just got to go close to the mirror. So with the makeup, I guess I'm going to, like, outline where the leave out is. So that once I put the shield in, it gets hard. And, I'm you know, I can see where I need to cut it and where I need to lay the tracks at. But it's what I'm assuming. This looks so funny. Oh, my gosh. But, yeah. So I got the little cap on. So as I can see, like, I can tell by the braid size, to be honest. Big, big, and then little is my leave out. So I'm 
gonna put it, I guess, right here. Um, just let me know. No more glue, no more shield is needed. So, oh, let's just see if it really even shows. Oh yeah, so. I don't know how to do makeup. Yeah, I know this. Okay, so that and then pretty much here. So now I'm just trying to make that go all the way around. So I kind of just use the makeup or whatever just to get an outline. But I can kind of feel like the difference between leave out braids and the braids that are being covered. So now I'm gonna just put this on and cover it the whole, whole, whole head. So I'm about to go in my bigger mirror, but I'm gonna take y'all with me so we can get this whole head because we don't wanna miss a spot, okay? So, and I don't have that little brushy thing. Oh, I might have one. I don't think so. We're gonna just use the back of a comb or something to spread this all around the hair. So that's what we're gonna do next. Okay, so y'all, I did not find a little brushy thing. So I'm just gonna use the back of this comb. Cause you kinda need something small to make it go where you want it to go. But good thing I moved up in here because this lighting is way better. And I can see the lines cause this was a little off. Okay, so I need to kinda spread it. Now I can see exactly where it needs to go. Big braids only. This is gonna be a little tricky. Mm -hmm. Oh! Just dripped on me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, y'all, so. This is a small brand, and that's it, so everything else is gonna get saturated in this stuff, okay? Don't even look like I'm doing nothing, but <laughs> it's definitely going on. Okay, y'all, so the cap in the dun, 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 dun. Applying the little, not applying, applying the little wonder cap or whatever. So we're gonna let that dry. I think I'm gonna blow dry just a little bit to speed up the process. Um, but yeah, and then I'm gonna prep my bundle some more. And then we're gonna get to the glow and get to the glow part today. I'm actually a little scared because when I be doing the ponytails, I be struggling a little bit. And now I gotta do it in the back of my hair where I can't see crazy but yeah i'm gonna watch the little video and get down packed y'all know we just learn as we go and i got some of my shirt guilty i don't know but yeah so i'm gonna this part done so we moving on okay y'all so the cap is done it is fully dry i'm gonna blow drying it air drying it and i have to go back in and fix some areas but it's all dry now and so i'm gonna start with the bundles but y'all i totally forgot to like some of my bundles are still wet so don't mind me but so i had a sewing with these so they're like double stack if that makes sense so i don't think i can double do it i mean i can but like i risk the i don't know video the lady just did one 
two would be better. This needs more full, right? More hair. We gonna see, but I'm gonna just, you know how they be doing, measuring it out side to side or whatever. Yeah, I feel like two is gonna be hard to glue, but I also feel like it's just better. I'm trying to get as many as I can. So we're gonna see y'all, but we're gonna get started. Let me get the glue ready. So I'm cutting the bundles right now. And I decided I'm gonna try to do two Fs in the back and just see um, for the first one. And then we'll see. I think in the front I wanna do one, right? Because it needs to be one thin. Does that sound right or no? <laughs> I know you don't want it thick in the front because that's when stuff, you know, start to look too bulky, too much going on. But let's just see y'all. Like I said, we winging this like a mother. Okay. Hate using this glue like this. Okay. Spold it in. We'll press it. So this is two webs also. Press that in there. Too much know what I'm doing, but okay. First little, first little track in. Okay, but I did put this one too high, so I'm like, I'm gonna low key go in and put some under it, cause it's spaced back there, and they already said don't space it too much, cause then it's gonna be looking like this, real thin, and I'm not having that. So I'm gonna put one under this track. Okay, so I'm gonna try to put these two webs under this first track, cause I placed it a little too high. Okay, it's right under it. I want these tracks to be close because you know I need those to be more of a full look. Okay. Yes, that's I'm tight. Use the muscles. That's what I work out for. getting somewhere <laughs> nowhere y'all <laughs> all right anyways i'm kind of getting the hang of it um i've been sticking with two webs um hopefully i don't run out of bundles doing it but right now i have three more bundles and i've kind of been using two in between back and back y'all this is not a tutorial anymore this is like a hair vlog y'all is just you know doing it with me because like i said i don't know i didn't know what i was doing anyways but right now i'm gonna just put the glue See, it's two webs. Like, I could split them up, but I keep that as one. And I'm pretty much just going from this braid all the way, loop to this braid, because this is the leave out. All the, in front is the leave out. Back here is all the stuff that's going to be covered. So, yeah, I kind of got the hang of it a little bit. I'm trying to stay humble, because, you know. Okay, y'all, so I am to the front, y'all. Look how much hair I'm already putting in my head. I need to, like... I started using one web instead of two, so it's just one of the small pieces. Um, but y'all, look when I put it in a ponytail, like, look how flat it is. Like, do you see that? Like, obviously, not this part because it's the leave out, but like, that is flat, okay? And that hair is full. I love it, it gotta be full. But yeah, so I'm finna just finish with the front with these single webs. Um, I literally barely have any more space, so. We're gonna finish that up and then we're gonna be moving on to leave out and pressing this hair out. And yeah, that'll pretty much be it. 
Okay, y'all. So I have actually only used two bundles ish. Not even, like y'all see, I got two more whole bundles, and I'm pretty much finished. I'm actually I'm done like doing a loop because the back is at its max. I'm not gonna put no more back there. Um, but I still have some space right here to leave out. So I'm gonna do just okay, like two lanes, probably on each side, and then I'm done with the glue because I'm not gonna um not gonna get too close. So I'm gonna just measure out this. And then we are going to move on to the leave out time, which I'm not excited about. <laughs> Cause that leave out be too much. Like it's gonna literally be little pieces just to close up um, this section. I told y'all this is a hair vlog. This is no longer a tutorial. Never really was. bundles even though y'all they're from amazon they in my amazon storefront y'all already know no i got y'all but no i'm just amazed at how flat it is like are you serious real flat real full but yeah now we're gonna get into the leap but i'm gonna go to my big mirror for this as well so we can really get in sweat and i got my hot comb waiting on me already so we're gonna get into that and i'm gonna show y'all me cutting it off cutting off the excess cap okay so it's got in really really tight a little bit you know or maybe it's just this part but let me just cut here and i think cut there to leave the leave out that's what we're gonna do mm, okay so make sure i'm not catching my hair that's what we don't got time for like bruh do not play because my hair will be so pissed get the hair while this makeup okay Even. I don't want to really cut it in the back though. Okay. Okay, y'all. So my phone is aching up because I'm out of storage, but this is the edges pressed out. Yeah, it's even bust out. I can go behind the ear. You feel what I'm saying? You can't even. Like, come on. Come on. Okay, but now. Put this back up in the clip because y'all, this is really a lot of hair up hot. <laughs> um, and I am gonna, I think I'm gonna curl it tomorrow. Um, because y'all got places to be. But now we're gonna need this lane, leave out the middle part, and I'm gonna just show y'all me pressing that out.
okay the pony still pony still ponytail still videos again so this side is not even pressed out and whatnot now we have to do this side and then we gonna be finished okay besties we are done pressing it out i'm gonna give y'all a better look at my small mirror but y'all the leave out is literally not that bad like i'm so surprised and it's i feel like it always looks better curl because this is like these bundles good they're full but like they're amazon bundles y'all so you know and they're not by your way so they're pressed out but it still look real good like real good but i'm gonna put some curls in it tomorrow morning but for tonight i'm probably just gonna braid it up so it can get a little wavy look um but yeah it came out. i don't know the middle part i'm really loving it. it's just giving mature it's just even grown like it's even grown with sex you know but yeah i'm loving it okay ladies that is it for this video um so y'all i'm loving this middle part i love how it turned out like i said i'm gonna curl it tomorrow this actually did not end up being quick this probably took almost three hours to be honest um yeah almost three hours so quick week just a weave you know it wasn't that quick but no i am loving the way it turned out i think tomorrow when i curl it i'm gonna try to blend it just a little bit more but no like it's not bad at all y'all know my hair is natural so i'm so shocked about how this came out and now i learned how to do a whole new style and y'all learned it with me and like i said y'all this is only two bundles y'all see the other bundles that i did not use so go to my amazon store point and buy these bundles because what like i just be washing them and reusing them literally um, but this is my first time using them in a quick wave, so I'm so happy that this came out. But I hope y'all enjoyed, loved watching with me, and learning something new, hopefully. See y'all on the next one, besties. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe.